Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today we are celebrating my two year anniversary on YouTube. How are we gonna be doing that? Last year, I did a top 10 video of my favorite flavored energy drinks. This year, I'm doing a top 20 list with a twist. Coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Just wanted you to see the whole thing because you don't really see much from here down. Thank you so much for joining me today. And in today's video, it's a very special day for me. It's my two year anniversary. Technically, it's October 12th. October 12th was yesterday, but it was Columbus Day. And it was a Monday, so I figured I'd postpone it today for it to be my Tuesday video. So what are we gonna be doing? Well, last year, I did a top 10 list because I was kind of getting tired of just doing energy drink review after review. So I wanted to do something a little more personal for myself. So I gave you my top 10 flavored energy drinks. So for this year's anniversary, I decided I wanted to go a step further. I wanted to give you my top 20 energy drinks, but not just the top flavors. I want to tell you guys the ones I actually use, the ones I actually buy on a regular basis, and that's going to be based on flavor as well as effectiveness for my personal needs. What's that mean exactly? Well, it means energy drinks like Rain and Bang, as awesome as they are, they might not be as high on the list as they were last year because they got 300 milligrams of caffeine in them, which is a lot in one drink if you don't work out, which I don't. Because really, they're meant to be pre-workout drinks to give you a boost of power for when you're working out. I like to spread my caffeine throughout the day. To find out more about that, you can check out this video where I go over how much I consume on a daily basis and why, as well as lots of other caffeine information. Watching that will help you understand some of my choices so that I don't have to talk about them in this video. I can just talk about the drinks, get them to you as fast as possible. Last year, my top 10 energy drinks was a very long video, closing in on 30 minutes. I want this top 20 list, even though it's got more drinks, to be far less than that I'm shooting for a goal of 20 minutes which sounds impossible that's less than one minute a drink not including this long intro we'll see if we can do it though some of the drinks might just be a brief shout out but once again don't be mad if bang and rain aren't as high as you guys would think they are this is my personal list of what I personally consume on a regular basis for my caffeine needs Number 20 may be something that I have once a month and the closer you get to number one something that I might have a couple times a week here we go Number 20, barely making the cut, but definitely in the top 20 list. The name says it all, but I'm gonna show you the can anyway. Cocaine, the name says it all. 280, oh, by the way, if you do hear that little shaking noise, I'm gonna try not to shake. I know the microphone picks up a lot of stuff, but um, I actually have little pellets in here to give them just a little bit of weight so that they don't go flying all over the place when I put them on the shelf, but all those cans are empty. Well, well, not empty, they have pellets in them. If you don't hear the pellets in some of the drinks, those are drinks that are unopened that I actually have in my kitchen because I use them more often. But this drink is a great drink. It's great to have with friends. It's great to have with friends who haven't had it before. It is a spicy beverage. It's the only spicy one that I know of on the market. Some people People will say jalapeno strawberry is spicy, but if you actually drink it, it has no spice whatsoever. This has a spicy kick. I've done a review on it, done a review on all these drinks you're going to see, so if you want to find out more about it, go check out my review on it. But this little 12 ounce can has 280 milligrams of caffeine, making it one of the highest, not the highest, but one of the highest caffeine contents on the market based on how many milligrams of caffeine per ounce. And besides just this one, the black one is also very good. I have this one almost as much, if not more, than the red one. So coming in at number 20, cocaine energy drink. Coming in at number 19, I don't even have a can to show you for some reason because this surprised me that it's even on my list. It's Guayaki Gold. Recently, I've been having them more regularly, but for some reason, I didn't keep a can and I haven't even reviewed it yet. I did do a review on Guayaki Yerba Mate many months ago, but they didn't have this flavor at the time, or at least not the store I was at. And the only reason I found out about this one was because I remember them being okay. They were pretty healthy, but I am going to be doing another energy drink dare challenge coming up soon, probably within the next week or two. So keep your eye open for that. But I bought one of these Goyaki's thinking, oh, oh this guy, he, he's not going to like this drink. But I bought two of them so I could try it to make sure it was bad. And I was actually really surprised that this gold Goyaki is actually pretty good compared to the other flavors, in my opinion. Therefore, there's a picture of it here for you. I'm putting a picture of all the cans just to make it easy. But it's really made it into my regular rotation. It's healthy. It's got a little bit more sugar than I'd like. But Yerba Mate is almost as healthy as tea. 120 milligrams in the 12-ounce can. Coming in at number 18 is 3D Gold. 
I just tried this one last month when it came out. Maybe it's been two months, but it's still relatively new in the market. It is supposed to be a pina colada flavor, but I don't think it tastes much like pina colada. I think it tastes a lot better than pina colada. I think it's reminiscent of a pina colada, but then a lot better. And it's a very refreshing flavor. So if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend picking up the 3D Gold, 200 milligrams of caffeine per can. Coming in at number 17 is gonna be the Celsius Peach Vibe. This is great for working out. It's got great ingredients in it. It's very healthy. And I'm surprised to see a Celsius on my list. Just because when I originally reviewed the whole Celsius line, I thought some of them were pretty good. I didn't give any an excellent rating. And some of them were not really that great. But when they released this Peach Vibe, I didn't have high hopes, but it really blew me away. It's got a great peach flavor. And with 200 milligrams and the 12 ounce can, it's something I really started to enjoy. Coming in at number 16 is the Bucked Up Wild Orchard. I had never actually heard of Bucked Up before I started my channel, but when I did this review, I was blown away by the flavors of all the energy drinks. And in my personal opinion, I think it ranks right up there with Rain and Bang. And it even has some extra workout ingredients and some focus ingredients as well. So it's got a little bit of nootropic going on too. And the reason I love this flavor so much is because it is an apple, peach, white grape flavor. And I think there's a little bit of pear in there too. And anything else you can find it in an orchard. Delicious flavor. 300 milligrams of caffeine though. Coming in at number 15 is the G Fuel Bahama Mama. This one is my favorite of all the G Fuel cans. And G Fuel's really been crushing it with all their cans so far. They've all rated really high because they've done a really great job with all their flavors. This one here reminds me of an orange creamsicle mixed in with a bit of tropical as well as a touch of coconut. I love it. But at 300 milligrams per can, slightly lower on the list. But for flavor, it really is a delicious flavor. Next up on the list, now don't, don't be mad. I already gave you the pre-warning up front, but next up on the list is the Bang Bangster Berry. I said don't be mad, you can't be mad. I told you up front, 300 milligrams, not something I drink on a regular basis because I don't worry out. I usually go for the lower amounts of caffeine throughout the day. That video right there, you gotta watch that video before you can start complaining. I wanna hear you in the comments below. Bangster Berry. This is my number one rated bang flavor. Therefore, even though it's a little bit lower on my top 20 list, it is really, really high on my top 10 list if you haven't watched that video yet. There's really not much more that you can say about it because bang is known for making lots of delicious flavors. And that one tastes like a delicious liquid blueberry pie to me with other berries in it as well. 300 milligrams of caffeine. Thanks to berry. Coming in at number 13, you still can't be mad at me. We already talked about this. But coming at number 13 is the Rain Mango Matic. This one is my favorite of all the rain flavors. And if you watch my live stream that I had this weekend, Zero Pack had done a special Caffeine Man theme box of my top five sugar-free energy drinks. And you'll know that Rain Sour Apple was in there, not the Mango Matic. Well, the Mango Matic and the Sour Apple are both tied for first place. And the Zero Pack had Mango Matic like two boxes before. So I didn't want anyone who was purchasing the box to get the same drink twice. So I went for the Sour Apple in the Caffeine Man theme box. But Mango Matic is tied for first place with the Sour Apple. Not to mention, Rain has lots of other delicious flavors as well. But I'm only picking one drink per company for the top 20 list. 300 milligrams caffeine. Coming at number 12 is Legend. L-G-N-D is how they spell it. You can see this is unopened because I got a whole case recently delivered because I like it. And there are three main reasons why I like this drink. First off, it's a nootropic drink and you're gonna see several nootropics on my list because nootropics are personally what I need and what I use most often. There are tons of nootropic ingredients in this drink. I think it actually has the most nootropic ingredients of any of the nootropic beverages that I've had so far. It is only 60 milligrams. And some of you might be saying 60 milligrams caffeine, man. Are you serious right now? To which I'll say, go watch that video. Told you already, no complaining in the comments. You didn't watch that video. And lastly, it's actually a ginger brew and it is much better and much stronger than that Monster Mule, if you guys had that one. Not saying anything about it about Monster Mule, it was a pretty good flavor, but this legend is pretty much the best ginger brew on the market, and I'm not talking ginger brew energy drink. I'm saying if I had a choice of Dr. Reed's Fever Tree or any of those other ginger brews, they have a little bit too much sugar and no caffeine. This only has a little bit of sugar, much more caffeine, and more caffeine than those other ginger brews. Legend's number 12. Coming at number 11 is Sparkling Ice Plus Caffeine Blue Raspberry. 
I love this drink for its flavor. I also love it for its lack of caffeine. There is only 70 milligrams in this 16 ounce can, which is still more than most sodas on the market. I say most, it's not like more than Mountain Dew and a couple others. But in general, 70 milligrams in 16 ounce can is gonna be a lot more than most sodas. And this drink is a lot healthier than any soda. So it's almost like you're drinking a delicious blue raspberry soda. You're getting some caffeine out of it. You're getting some great flavor out of it. Number 11 on my list. All right, we're breaking into the top 10. Who made the cut for the top 10? Coming in at number 10 is Uptime Blueberry Pomegranate. And my lights are really bright, so I'm not sure. Luckily enough, I'm putting the picture up here for you. Lightly carbonated, very refreshing drink. It's got nootropics in it. Big fan of the nootropics, as I mentioned already. And this is one of their two new flavors. The other one is the mango pineapple. I was a big fan of that one as well. And out of the older ones, when I originally did the whole entire original line, I was also a fan of the white peach lemonade. I definitely pick these up when I see them because they're not in all stores, but they're not super hard to find either. 142 milligrams, 12 ounce can. Coming at number nine is gonna be Merica Impeachment. Unopened because I got an entire case downstairs in my kitchen because I got them on sale when Campus Protein was having a huge sale. And although this is pre-workout, it does have some nootropic ingredients in it as well. And it's 200 milligrams of caffeine and it's a delicious peach flavor. And you guys will see a couple of peaches on this list because I'm a big fan of peach. But they did a really great job with this. Number nine. All right, we're getting to number eight. Now, now some of you are not gonna believe this when I say it. You're gonna think I'm trolling you or something. And some of you may believe this if you saw me do my review on it. Some of you may be shocked that this company is even on my top 20 list, let alone in the top 10 at number eight. Can you guess who the company is? I'm sure some of you can guess if you've watched my channel long enough, but if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I didn't even say that earlier. If you're new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Post new videos every Tuesday night, sometimes bonus videos on the weekend. And once you start go back watching all my other videos, you'll find out that I was not a very huge fan of Monster. But as time has gone on and I have continued to review their products, I have found some Monster products that I actually like. And this one is a delicious product by Monster. It is the Monster Max Mango Matic. The flavor is similar to the Rain Mango Matic, which as I just mentioned, is my top rain flavor. But but not only does this have carbonated water, but it also has nitrogenated water, which makes it less carbonated and just a little more smooth than any other energy drinks out there. It is awesome and it is sometimes hard to find, but if you ever see the Monster Max, Mango Matic, or Rad Red in the store, you definitely be sure to pick it up. Caffeine Man says so. Great job by Monster. 200 milligrams of caffeine in the 12 ounce can. Coming at number seven is the Alani New Cosmic Stardust. Yes, this is the older can. They just did a line refresh, new packaging. Haven't picked that one up yet, but I have picked up two of the other new ones and tried them out. But this drink, it's normally geared towards women if you couldn't tell by the colors on the can. But trust me, anyone can drink this and guys will tell you that they love it as well because it is an absolutely great drink. 200 milligrams of caffeine in this 12 ounce can, lots of great workout ingredients and all of the flavors in their line are pretty darn delicious. And the Cosmic Stardust is like liquid Skittles. Who doesn't like liquid Skittles? No sugar in the can. Number seven. Coming at number six is the Rockstar TMGS. Tangerine Mango Guava Strawberry. And yes, a Rockstar product did hit the top 20 list, even hit the top 10 list. This drink is one of the amazing ones that I was shocked by when I had it. And it is my go-to drink when I go to the convenience store and I am trying to find something that I'm really gonna like. And it's one of those convenience stores that just has like the limited amount of energy drinks. I usually don't pick up a Red Bull because my house is already full of Red Bull. I usually don't pick up a Monster because we already discussed how I feel about them. And they usually don't have the Monster Max there, but they always have the Rockstar TMGS, so I almost always pick it up. It's always at a great price as well. They're, they always have some kind of two for sale going on. So I pick this one up by default when I go to the convenience store, and it's a delicious default. 240 milligrams for the 16 ounce can. We've hit the top five, and coming in at number five is the C4 Smart Energy Peach Mango Nectar. This is one of my top rated peach flavors. It is very strong in peach flavor, and the fact that it is a nootropic beverage and has 200 milligrams of caffeine puts it way up on my list, something I use on a regular basis. It's unopened because I have them in my fridge, an entire case in my dining room ready to go. 
And I usually get these when they're on sale at Campus Protein not too long ago. They had a buy one, get one half, and I ended up buying four cases. But right now, they've had this sale for about a month now. You can use coupon code TAKE20 to save 20% off all the C4 products. And actually, a lot of the drinks on this list can be found at Campus Protein. I'm actually gonna put a list right here of all the ones we sell at Campus Protein and where they were ranked. And you can save 10% off your entire order when you use coupon code CAFFEINEMAN10, but you're only allowed one coupon code per order. So if you want to get any C4s, use coupon code TAKE20 for 20% off. I don't think this sale is going to last much longer because it's already been going on for over a month. But as long as you use my link down below, I'll get credit for sending you to Campus Protein. Moving on. Next for number four, this company is brand spanking new to the market with their RTDs, ready to drink energy drinks. And this drink would have actually made it into my Cafe Man theme box that I just went over this weekend, except it's so new that it was just released and my Cafe Man theme box was planned out a month ago. And that delicious drink is by Ghost Energy, Sour Patch Kids, Red Berry. This drink right here, 100%, not even open. It's my last one though. It'll be gone soon. But this 100%, no doubt about it, is liquid red berry sour patch in a can. It is sour, it is sweet, it is red berry. It is delicious. And it also has amazing ingredients in it. It has some workout ingredients in it, but it also has some nootropics for focus. And these drinks are for everyone. People that work out can get a lot of benefits out of it because they use good dosages of their pre-workout ingredients. People that game will get the benefit of the nootropic focus ingredients. And ultimately, everyone, you don't have to be a pre-workout or a gamer, everyone will get benefits out of this drink due to the amazing ingredients that they have in here. Definitely check out my review. I am gonna put it here so that you can hear me talk about all the ingredients in here and the taste test of the first two flavors. I also did a second video of the other two flavors they came out with, also delicious. 200 milligrams of caffeine, love that number. And the only reason why it's in number four and not higher on the list, that's right, I said not higher on the list. You can't really get much higher, well, you, get, you can get three higher. But the only reason why it's not higher is because it's actually too sour for me. It's not something I can drink on a daily basis, but when I do drink it, it it's just, it's deliciousness in a can. Number four. Ooh, getting to the top three. Any, you guys have any guesses what the top three are? I'm pretty sure if you've watched my channel, you probably already know what they are because if you watch my live stream, you're gonna know some of them. And if you've watched my channel uh, pretty much at all, most people know what my number one is. It, it might be different this time though, it might be number two. But coming in at number three is Amino Energy. Where's the can? Amino Energy Watermelon. This is one of my absolute favorite watermelons on the market. Red Bull came out with a Wow Me Watermelon several months ago, and ever since Red Bull had come out with their Wow Me Watermelon, everyone else has been coming out with watermelon flavors. Some have been hit or miss, but there have been a lot of good ones, and I think Amino Energy has one of the best watermelons. I have not gotten to the Ultra Watermelon. It was just released like a week or so ago, and I'm going to pick it up this weekend, I hope. But I will be trying it out soon, but I do not think that it is gonna be the Amino Energy Watermelon. And, and listen, they don't have just watermelon. They got like 10 different flavors. Their juicy strawberry is almost as good as this. They have a great cherry. They, they have a great bunch of flavors. 100 milligrams in this 12 ounce can, so slightly less than your standard amount in energy drinks of 10 milligrams per ounce but still a great way to get some caffeine, a great way to get some of your aminos, electrolytes, and a whole bunch of other good stuff. But really, you people mostly only drink this because it tastes so delicious. So definitely check them out. And if you actually like a whole bunch of the flavors, you can try all 10 of them because Campus Protein actually has a variety pack with all 10 flavors in it. I also did a review on it. So if you wanna check out that review on all 10 flavors, you know where to look. But at 100 milligrams, I can actually have two, three, four of these a day and still be within my safe limits. So you can take your 300 and go pump some iron <laughs> because I don't pump iron. So I, I drink the, the wimpy ones, but they're delicious wimpy ones. Number two, oh my goodness, people. I am definitely, I am sorry. This is going over the 20 minutes because when I get to these top three energy drinks, I just can't stop talking about how good some of these energy drinks are. And honestly, this is definitely gonna be a shock to a lot of people. If you're new to my channel, you're gonna be like, what the heck is that energy drink that he's talking about because you never heard of it before because it's a completely underrated drink. But listen up, people. This company has 10 different flavors and almost all of them are delicious flavors. And that company 
is Blake Star. And my favorite one of Blake Star is the pineapple coconut, but I'm also a big fan of their cherry flavor. I'm a big fan of their apple. And whenever they have a sale, which they have them relatively often, I'll usually pick up two to four cases, including one or two of the pineapple coconut, maybe a cherry, maybe an apple. And their pink lemonade is really good as well. But listen, this is number two on my list for a reason. Some of those reasons are, it's a 12 ounce can, has 140 milligrams of caffeine, so slightly more than your standard amount of 10 milligrams per ounce. It also has some nootropic ingredients for focus, and the flavors are just really, really, really solid flavors. Now, we're not talking rain and bang, powerful, unique flavors. These are hitting you with solid flavors. If you want cherry, they're giving you a great cherry flavor, better than the Bing cherry and better than most of the cherries out there. But when you get into like the cherry limes and the black cherries and midnight cherries, you know, this doesn't really compare to those because this is just straight on cherry. And their apple flavor is straight on apple. It's not candy apple crisp. It's not your granny's apple. It's not apple kiwi. It is just straight on apple. They're giving you exactly what is on the can. Pineapple coconut is pineapple and coconut. Pink lemonade is pink lemonade and all the flavors are solid and that's what makes this company so great is that they're giving you exactly what they say they're giving you with a solid punch of flavor. When it all comes down to it, we're all looking for great flavors and the fact that it has some nootropic ingredients in it plus a little more caffeine than usual makes it number two on my list. Now, the regular prices on their website are a touch high, but definitely go to Instagram, follow them on Instagram because they always have some kind of sale going on. Well, not always, but they usually post their sales on Instagram and they also do free case giveaways. I think they have like Friday free case giveaways or something or Sunday. I don't know. They give away free cases as well. So it definitely pays off to follow them on Instagram. And I would say at least once a month or every other month, they'll have a sale where it's like buy one, get one half. For New Year's, they had to buy one, get one for 2020. But whatever the case is, they'll end up having a big sale and when they have that big sale you make sure you pick up two to three or four cases of it that's what i do i recommend the pineapple coconut but there's people that don't like pineapple or coconut so that's my personal preference but definitely recommend the cherry or apple or just look at their website whatever flavor they have you'll like it or check out my reviews they're long reviews but they're worth it last up number one everyone knows it if you didn't know it now you know it coconut berry red bull my absolute favorite flavor. It does have sugar in it. There's not a lot of sugar drinks on my list because I did try to reduce the amount of sugar I had in the last few years. And everyone should know that too much sugar is bad for you. But this is my guilty pleasure. It's not a ton of sugar. It's, it's, a, it's a decent amount. But like I said, a little bit of sugar now and then, everything in moderation and you're good. But I just love the flavor so much. It's got a good coconut flavor. It's got a good berry flavor. Some people says it tastes more like berry with a little bit of coconut, but whatever the case is, it's my favorite drink. And there have been people that even say that they don't really like coconut that much that have tried this and liked it, but there are still people that don't like coconut that say, I don't like coconut, so it's not good. But overall, whenever I talk about coconut Red Bull, there've been a lot of other people that love it too. I love to hear that. Love it even more when they say they never had it, they tried it because of me and it's their favorite drink now too. Thank you so much for being here. Whether it's been for two years or just two days, I appreciate all your support. I look forward to making more informative caffeine videos for you, as well as numerous reviews on energy drinks and caffeinated products. And I know that there's gonna be a lot more energy drinks coming out in the next year and more. I'm gonna be here to bring you the reviews on them. So until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night. Although it goes over the half-life of caffeine and some other caffeine safety and some other caffeinated and some other informative caffeinated and some other caffeine information and as well as some, as well as some other informative caffeine information. Some people will say jalapeno. Some people will say jalapeno strawberry. And my favorite one of Blake Star is the pineapple coconut is the pineapple coconut.